Spring Lafay, Simple Terra. Okay. Special message for the sign of Aquarius. Let's see what we get for you, Aquarius. with the truth but they're not doing it yet the chariot's still sitting still it feels like give me more got the sun card happiest card in the deck that's the yes card you had a yes or no question but we've got the moon card uh, you could be dealing with a um, water sign possibly cancer Scorpio Pisces um, they feel like there's something they want to tell you with this ace of swords okay there's something here about happiness there's something here about um, growth it feels like you know wanting to make or needing to make they needing to make a decision on what they're going to do it feels like um okay someone you've known before now this could be past life doesn't have to be um from an ex relationship okay you're going to get some communication from someone this could be past life like i said or it could be someone you've just known before it doesn't have to be a horrible ex although it could be it could be a horrible ex because i am seeing the um ten of swords <laughs> so just saying you know not trying to make it funny or anything but it could be an awful ex yeah just saying okay six of cups then again could be someone past life but could be someone also They've been reminiscing. They've been thinking. They've been thinking about when they were happy with you. Hmm. Lord mercy. I feel like more and more we're, we're going towards uh, an ex. I'm just going to be honest. Um, this, you know, and again, it could still be a soulmate, but this feels like an ex. Okay, somebody's got an ex wanting to come back towards them. This is someone that they're thinking about them, but they left you feeling on the fence it feels like temperance is here guidance balance um okay let's see what we get whoa we got to turn the card something uh, caught my eye there's something caught my eye here wait a minute let me see because i could have swore i just seen a color all i did Bam! There you go. Look you there. Want them to come out. Look. This is somebody that hurt you. At some point, they done something. Now, it doesn't... Like I said, they may not be that horrible ex, but they did something that hurt you. Could be somebody that ghosted you. Could be someone that um, made you feel a certain way, made you feel happy, and then, bam, they kind of pulled an illusion on you with that moon card and you know made everything kind of like you couldn't see it clearly this is something that ended this is something you were in your head about 
for some time it feels like, but you brought the balance back to your life. You, you got over it. You got over this. Whatever this was, you got over it. And it's like you, you see. See, where you couldn't see with the moon card, do you see now? So, hmm. Okay, let's, let's see. Why is this person wanting to come back towards you? Why? 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 They've been thinking about you. What could, what, what could their truth be? Nine of Cups. Six of Cups, again. Okay. This is someone that, um... Could be a soul connection. Could very well. We got six cups come out twice. Um, they see you as having it all. I mean, it's that's nine of cups. That is a, a wish card, you know. But this person, you know, it could very like I said, could be a soul connection. Then again, could be somebody that's just reminiscing, looking back. They've been looking back. They want to. Um, see <laughs> for some of you they may want to get on their hands and knees and ask you for forgiveness for others of you they may want to marry you i'm just saying um yeah it doesn't have to be this doesn't have to be a man no guys this could be a woman yeah i'm just saying um this is someone that may have a tendency to follow others there's a sense of they may follow other people yeah, it's got that feel to it. It's got that feel to it. They've been watching you. And it's like they're drawn to you. Yeah. But why are they drawn to you? I mean, what is their intentions? Hangman re uh, reversed. Two of, two of ones making a decision. This person ain't been seeing something clearly. Uh, it's like they got a decision they need to make. How are you involved in that, though? It's about giving their cup to someone. Now, you know, I'm not getting whether this person's coming at you with love or if they're just coming at you for some other reason. See, you're being seen as having it, having yourself together. Yeah, right there with that Queen of Pentacles. We got the King of Pentacles here. So this person, they see you as having yourself together. Okay, we got justice. Something. Um, this person's dealt with some kind of form of karma here. It feels like um, there's something that's happening here. It's, it feels like there's something that's happening between the two that has karma written all over it with that justice card. So now, for some of you, this could be someone that you went to court with or you've had an ending with. Could be a divorce. Doesn't have to be. For some of you, there's just something that's happened here that karma is stepping in. So you're going to have to take that or whatever it means to you because I'm not getting it. See, Ten of Pentacles. They see you as having yourself together. We've done kind of see justice again. This is about karma. Someone's getting karma. They're getting karma, or they're going to get karma for the way they've done something. Star, chariot. Princess of Pentacles. That's movement forward towards healing. Okay. Somebody wants to heal a connection. They want to heal a connection. Um, they want to heal a connection. That's exactly what that is. So something went down. Somebody wants to heal a connection. Um, see the hangman's upright. The Eight of Pentacles. But that see that's about to get bit somebody uh, doesn't trust this so I feel like you're not going to trust this when this person comes back you're going to be your you, it's like you just something went down and it's like you can't trust it because it's almost like you were in a happy place and then this person done something 
to make you not be able to see what they were doing. It's almost like an illusion. And you ended up getting hurt. So, you know, I mean, really. Yeah, Queen of Swords. There you go. Um, see, you can't trust this, and you know it. You know you can't trust this person. You can't trust the situation with that Queen of Swords. See there? And that Moon card. It's like you cannot trust it and you know it. There's some form of deception or something. And, you know, it's almost like, um, because you've got the universe here. See, universe is stepping in. The universe is dealing with something. You've got an ending of your cycle. And it's like you're beginning a new one. This here it feels like, I'm going to be honest, is a test from the universe. You know, it, it's like you're being tested. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah, that's what it feels like. I'm just going to be honest with you. But I want you to look right there. You see that? It don't look like you're having any part of this. You see that? See what she's holding? Bam. Got your sword ready. Whack, whack. Just saying. That's what that feels like right there. It sure is. Okay. For Aquarius, may we have the one. Ooh, honesty. Look at there. Mm -mm -mm. And on the bottom, we got judgment. Okay. Pause. Write it down so you can speak it. I like three times, thrice times, and then at the end of the last one, and so it is. That's honesty. Pause. Write it down. Judgment. Looky there. Goes right along with justice. Okay. Repeat after me, please. I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. And so it is. Judgment. Repeat after me, please. I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges. I understand that everyone has their own unique path path and challenges. I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges and so it is. Absolutely. I love that. I think that's awesome. That was two awesome, awesome cards to get for this reading. I mean, just truly. You know, this just got that universe sending someone back to see, you know, it's, it's almost like universal protection. You know, had a play in this and it's like um, you know are you like I've said in, in uh, several of the others you know they're coming back to see are you stupid you know have you learned anything it's that type of feeling Aquarius Aquarius yeah thank you may I have the, may I have the other one or Aquarius, can I have one more spirit? One, one more. Oh, I don't want that many. That's too many. I'm not feeling it. Just, eh. Okay, I'll take those. I'll take those. Okay. Vulture spirit endings. It feels like an ending. An ending. Yeah. Okay, we got 34. Hummingbird spirit, be here now. Be here now. Beautiful. And then we got 49, Rabbit Spirit. Now is a lucky time. And yes, it is. Then we've got number 63, Vulture Spirit. Nothing is wasted. But you know, often seeing a vulture, you know, there is a sense of endings as well. Just saying. Okay, Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. Do you need one of these Aquarius spirit? Does Aquarius need? There it went. There it went. There it went. Right on the floor. Right on the floor. Let me let me see if I can get a hold of it. Okay. 
Look at that. Happy, happy. Time to be happy. Number 26. Fancy free. Happy. Awesome. I love it. So that's what I have for you. And, um, yeah, if you enjoy the readings, do subscribe. Give them a thumbs up. Uh, tell anyone that you think could benefit from the, from the readings. And much love and light to you all. Till next time. Bye.